Hi, thanks for coming back and watching the Harma channel. Today we'll be talking about carrying costs, or some people call it holding costs. It's so important to know what that means. If you're flipping properties and you don't know what that means, you might end up blowing up your budget. Before we get started, thank you for watching my channel. If you're here because you want to become rich very fast, this is not the right channel. I don't think I can help you. But if you are here because you want to learn about the flipping a property or becoming knowledgeable in real estate, then this is the right channel. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. When you're buying a property to flip, it's very important to understand what is carrying costs. Carrying costs are all the expenses associated with the flipping the property and the period that you have and the cost that goes until the transaction is closed. Let me give you some examples. Mortgage. When you buy a property, you have a mortgage. Let's just say your mortgage is $2,000 and it's going to cost six months of renovation. That is $2,000 a month, that's $12,000. That's the mortgage that you have to pay. That goes in your budget. Meanwhile, you have to pay property taxes. Then you have a homeowner's association. Then you have homeowner's insurance. Those are not the same thing. If you don't have a homeowner's association because you didn't buy a condo, which is fine, but pay attention to those expenses. They come in every month and they add up very quickly. Utilities, another item that you have to pay attention to. Guess what? If you're remodeling, your contractor is using electricity, using water and power, who's going to pay those bills? You are. So if it's going to be six months of renovation, it's going to be six months of utilities. And the last thing that is important is closing costs. To me, that's important to calculate because it falls in a carrying cost. When you purchase a property, you have a closing cost. As a buyer, you have to pay for closing costs. And then you have to sell the property. When you sell the property, there are still some closing costs such as escrow, title, transfer taxes to city transfer taxes and a bunch of other miscellaneous fees. And the biggest item on that is the commission to the real estate agent. Just a note on the commission. If you hire a real estate agent that is charging you very little or free, there is a problem with that. And an agent who's willing to do things for free and that's the money that they're making and they're willing to not charge you enough, how much do you think they will care about the, your money? So pay attention, hire the professional. Just to recap, it's important to understand carrying costs. Pay attention to all the expenses that you pay every month. Collect that, including your budget, so you don't have the wrong profit. The question for today is, what made you think about flipping property? Make sure you leave that in a comment. I'm very interested to learn about your journey. Thank you for watching this video. I wanna know what other topics you would like me to make video on. Feel free to leave those in a comment and don't forget to subscribe.